So the Pentagon has apparently failed not one but five audits and now cannot account for 61 percent of their assets. This from Congressman Clay Higgins. Watch. Or maybe it's a minor error. Maybe it's a minor error. They make adjustments. They have another audit. They fail that audit. Does the bank change course? Say, well, you tried. We're going to give you money. Can they get money, Mr. Mansfield? No. They cannot. We're not. Thank you for your candor. Here's the problem with this bank. We don't even have the money. We're giving you a trillion dollars a year almost now. We just added a trillion dollars to our national debt in one month. Can any of you gentlemen promise in the near future a clean audit, Mr. Tenaglia? So I would uh, ask the Comptroller to help me provide you with a timeline that, that the Comptroller is indicating is the pathway to a clean audit. A pathway to a clean audit. Everyone's wow. been there where the boss calls you in for details and you're a like... A trillion dollars. Uh, yeah, the one guy's like, 61. maybe the comptroller has an answer, but go ahead. I just, no, I, I, I'm just going over the numbers. 61%. Where are those assets? <laughs> Where are they? Where are they, Terrence? Me, teacher, me, teacher. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Afghanistan. Can you say mm. a lot of assets we left, left it behind? All behind. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Ukraine. We sent yeah. billions, tens of billions of dollars worth of assets there. Uh, that's part of it. You know, I'm no comptroller, sure. but I do follow the news. <laughs> I do follow the news. Those would well, be two places to start looking, I would think. That's well ahead of, uh, you know, representatives in Congress on the Democrat side, as we, we saw earlier. So, we started yeah. the show with Democrats who don't watch the news and don't know that the cocaine investigation at the White House is over. They don't know. They don't even read the newspaper anymore. And so why would the Pentagon try to keep track of all these weapons and whatnot? And I mm -hmm. think... Congressman Higgins was right. He's saying, we're the bank. It's everyone in our audience. And we have no money. And we have no money. So we're and we're giving you a trillion dollars a year. We're over $30 trillion in debt. You're right. To your point, to his point. And then they keep coming back to the bank, which is the U.S. taxpayers, for more. You have to account for it. I mean, if your parents give you a little bit of money and then you just lose it, they're not just going to keep giving you the money. Right. And, and this is what we're doing. It's insane. And to your point, I think implicit in what Congress, uh, Congressman Higgins was saying is that uh, to some degree, Congress is also complicit in this because they continue to fund the military. They continue to siphon money into the military and towards the Pentagon. Obviously, it's for national defense. But at what point in time do you as a lawmaker stop and say, OK, I need an accounting of how this money is being spent. I need a proper accounting. And without that, I'm going to stop. I'm going to pull the purse strings tight. I'm not sending any more money. Yeah. Yeah, you think it would have happened already. I, this is unbelievable. Five audits, five audits. Well, and Donald Trump talks about it at the rallies about the first point you made about Afghanistan, right? How stupid it was. He calls it stupid mm -hmm. that we spent billions of dollars on these weapons. And when we got out of Afghanistan, it's Biden not. just left all the weapons behind. And then what happens now? So we waste the money. But then those weapons are sold on the black market and the rest by the Taliban. And those weapons paid for you by U.S. Ta taxpayers could be used by terrorists and others to come after us and our allies. Yeah, stupid such a simple world, word for like this huge, complicated problem of just mm -hmm. idiocy. <laughs> Which is why Trump can be blunt and get to the point. Go ahead. Can I just bring your point full circle? And it also goes back to the southern border because we know that fighting mm. age military men from the Middle East and around the world are crossing mm. the southern border into, this, into these United States and potentially could use some of the weapons that we left behind on American people. So it really is a full circle issue. Great point. Yeah, You're absolutely, absolutely right. And we got it right there. No accountability. And that's why people are pretty 